If your bulls are eating but not gaining weight, you could be measuring it all wrong. In this video, we're revealing how real ranchers calculate weight gains with accuracy and why one mistake could cost you thousands. Welcome, fellow cattle enthusiasts, to Biggest Bulls and Cow. Today we're tackling a topic that sits at the very heart of a profitable and healthy operation, measuring weight gain. Now, this might sound simple, but the truth is, this is where fortunes are made and lost. It's not just about knowing if an animal is getting bigger, it's about knowing if your feed strategy is working, if your genetics are performing, and if you're on track to hit your target weight market on time and on budget. Getting this wrong is like flying a plane without an instrument panel. You're burning fuel, but you have no idea if you're gaining altitude or slowly heading for the ground. And the worst part is that many well-intentioned producers are making critical errors without even knowing it. Let's start with the most common mistake, inconsistent weighing conditions. Has this ever happened to you on your farm? You weigh a steer in the morning and he's 900 pounds. Your neighbor weighs a similar animal in the afternoon after it has been on pasture all day and it's 950 pounds. You start to question your genetics or your feed, but the problem might not be the animal at all. It might be the timing. This is due to a concept called gut fill and shrink. An animal with a full belly of grass, feed, and water can weigh anywhere from 5 to 10% more than an animal with an empty stomach. That's a 50 to 100 pound difference on a 1,000 pound bull, just based on when you weighed it. So, if you weigh some animals before their morning feed and others after, your data is already compromised. You're not comparing apples to apples. This leads to what we call paper gains, not real profitable growth. To get accurate data, you must weigh your cattle at the same time of day, every single time, under the same conditions. The industry best practice is to weigh them first thing in the morning, after they've been held off feed and water overnight for a few hours. This gives you a consistent baseline weight to work from. Now, let's talk about the tools for the job. The second major error is relying on guesswork or using tools incorrectly. Just looking at an animal and saying, yeah, he looks like he's put on some weight, is a recipe for disaster. Your eyes can deceive you. The most common tool after guesswork is the weight tape. And look, a weight tape is certainly better than nothing. For a small producer just starting out, it can provide a reasonable estimate. But here's the catch you need to know. Weight tapes are calibrated for an average beef animal. They measure the heart girth, and use a formula to estimate weight. But what if you're raising a tall, lanky Holstein cross or a short, incredibly dense Angus? The tape can be off by a significant margin, sometimes over 100 pounds. It doesn't account for body condition, muscle density, or frame differences between breeds. So while it's a handy tool for monitoring general trends, it is not precise enough to making critical financial or genetic decisions. In a moment, I'll explain how to get the most out of a weight tape if it's the only tool you have. But first, let's discuss the gold standard. For true accuracy, nothing beats a quality cattle scale. Whether it's a full shoot with a built-in scale, load bars under your existing squeeze chute, or a simple platform scale, this is the only way to know the true weight of your animal. I know what you're thinking. A scale is a big investment. And you're right. But let's reframe that. It's not an expense, it's an investment that pays for itself. Think about it. If you're underestimating the weight of your calves by just 20 pounds each, and you sell a group of 50, you've just left 1,000 pounds of paid weight on the table. At $1.50 per pound, that's $1,500 lost on a single sale, all because of inaccurate measurement. The scale would have paid for a significant portion of itself in just one transaction. For larger producers, this isn't just a recommendation, it's an absolute necessity. For smaller producers, consider pulling resources with a neighbor to share a portable scale. The return on investment is undeniable. So, you've got your scale and you're weighing consistently. 
The next step is turning that weight into useful information. And the key metric for that is the average daily gain or ADG. This is the number that tells you the real story. The formula is beautifully simple. You take the current weight, subtract the previous weight, and then divide that number by the number of days between the two weigh-ins. Let's walk through a real example. Imagine you have a weaned calf. On day one, you weigh him, and he's 500 pounds. You put him on your best pasture and a solid feed program. 90 days later, you weigh him again under the same conditions first thing in the morning. His new weight is 770 pounds. So let's do the math. 770 pounds minus the starting 500 pounds gives us a total gain of 270 pounds. It's a great gain, but how good is it on a daily basis? We divide that 270 pounds by the 90 days it took to gain it. The result is three. That calf had an average daily gain of three pounds per day. This number, three pounds per day, is pure gold. Why? Because now you can start making powerful decisions. If you have another calf in the same pasture on the same feed that only gained 1.5 pounds per day, you've just identified an underperformer. Is it a health issue? Or are its genetics simply not as efficient at converting feed to muscle? This data allows you to ask the right questions. Over time, you can use ADG to select the best replacement heifers, the ones that grow efficiently and call the animals that are costing you more in feed than they are worth. You can also accurately project your sale dates. If you need that calf to reach 1,200 pounds, you can now calculate almost exactly how many more days it will take. This is how you run a ranch like a business. Now, a quick pro tip for those using a weight tape. To make it more reliable, use it in conjunction with ADG. Even if the absolute weight is off, the change it measures over time can still be valuable. If the tape shows one calf added six inches to its girth in 90 days, and another only added three inches, you can still identify the better performer, even if you don't know their exact pounds. Always measure at the exact same spot, right behind the front legs, and ensure the tape is snug but not tight. For our more advanced ranchers, let's talk briefly about adjusted weights. An adjusted 205-day weaning weight, for example, is a standardized measure that removes the variable of the calf's age at weaning. It allows you to compare all calves in a single calf crop as if they were all born on the same day. It even adjusts for the age of the dam, since a mature cow will milk better than a first calf heifer. We won't go into the full calculation here. But know that using these standardized adjusted weights is the next level of genetic analysis, allowing you to compare your animals not just to each other, but to breed averages across the country. It is the language of modern data-driven genetics. So let's bring it all together. To accurately measure weight gain, you need three things. One, a consistent process, weigh at the same time, under the same conditions, every time. Two, the right tool for the job. A scale is the best investment, but a tape used consistently is better than guessing. And three, the right calculation. Use average daily gain to turn raw weight into actionable intelligence. By avoiding these common mistakes, you move from being a cattle keeper to a strategic cattle manager. You'll save thousands on feed by identifying inefficient animals and you'll make thousands more at market by selling animals at their peak optimal weight. This isn't just about numbers, it's about the health of your herd and the long-term sustainability of your operation. We've covered a lot of ground today, from basic principles to advanced metrics. But the core message is simple. What gets measured gets managed. Accurate measurement isn't an expense, it's an investment in your future. If you found value in this, if you're ready to make more informed, more profitable decisions on your farm or ranch, do us a huge favor. First, hit that subscribe button to join our community here at Biggest Bulls and Cow. We are dedicated to bringing you practical, no-nonsense advice to help you succeed. Second, drop a comment below. 
What's the biggest challenge you faced with weighing your cattle? Or maybe you have a tip that has worked for you that could help someone else. Let's learn from each other. And finally, if you know another rancher, a student, or just someone passionate about cattle who could benefit from this, please share this video with them. Because here, we're not just raising cattle, we're raising standards together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.